Hello, hello, I'm Miss Aurora. If you don't already know me, I'm going to be teaching this series called Bell Basics. Um, so the goal of this series is to get an idea of some solid playing skills, how to read some music in treble clef, and develop um, an understanding of some basic music theory. So at Enrichment, we use bells as a pitched percussion instrument, meaning, pitch meaning, how high or how low a note sounds. So an important part of developing an understanding of the bells is learning scales. And our scales are a set of seven notes and a repeat of the bottom note. So if we are in C major, we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and a repeat of C. So this completes a whole octave. It's eight notes, the seven and the repeat of the bottom, like I said. Our C is our home base note in this scale. So our home base is called a key, and our key determines the tonal basics of any piece of music. We start at C, we end at C, we always go back to C. That's our home base note. So if we look at the bells and we compare it to a piano, our bottom keys are our natural or our white keys. Our top keys are our black keys on the piano or our accidentals. So the bottom ones are our naturals and the top are our accidentals. So an accidental is a raised or lowered note which is shown by a sharp sign or a flat sign. So this raises the note and this one lowers it. Now when working in scales and we have our accidentals, it's important to know our half steps and whole steps. When you raise a note, you raise it by a half step. When you lower it, it's lowered by a half step. So on the bells, a half step is from one note to the next. So this is a half step and a whole step is from one note one to another to the next. So that goes from two notes. So a half step is from one note to the next and a whole step is one note to the second. So we have one note and our next note. So from here to here, this would be considered a half step because it's one note to the next. If we are here, this would be a whole step because there's one starting note, one, two notes. So from C to D, that would be a correct. C to D is a whole step. Now, if we go E to F, that is a correct. E to F is a half step because we're going from starting note to one note. But if we go E to F sharp, that would be a Correct, a whole note, because we have our starting note on E, one note, two notes. So we go a whole step. So our whole steps and half steps are very important when determining um, some scales that we're gonna be working in. Now back to our key, which is our home base note. So if we are in the key of C, the key of D, the key of G, that's our home base in the scale that we're working in. A key determines our key signature. And our key signature is a group of accidentals that exists in a scale. So not all scales are as easy as our C major scale, which contains all natural notes. It goes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C again. There are no accidental notes or our black keys. So if we are in D, 
major, and we're working in this, this scale, we would have D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and a repeat of our bottom note. Now in D major, there are two raised notes, including F and C. So you are going to raise these by a half step. So on the bells, if we are in the key of D, we go D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Now every key signature for a scale is different. There is a different amount of sharps, and if we're working in flats, there's a different amount of flats. So, to find any major key signature, there is a combination of whole steps and half steps to follow. This only works on major key signatures. So on the bells, if we use our combination of whole steps and half steps, and we start at our key, D, we go up a whole step, E, a whole step, F sharp, a half step, G, a whole step, A, a whole step, B, another whole step, C sharp, and our half step, D. If we go to another scale, B flat major, and we follow our whole steps and half steps, we will have B flat to C to D, to E flat, to F, then G, A, and B flat. So as we continue through the series, it's very important that we learn all of our scales and get a very comfortable with them. So right now, learning the major scales, we can take our set of whole steps and half steps in this order and find any of our major scales, whether that be A, B flat, D, E major, any of the, our major scales we can get using this. So a quick recap of what we went over in this video. We defined pitch, which is how high or low a note is. We define what a scale is, and that is seven notes and a repeat of our bottom note. Now remember our starting note, that bottom note is our key, and our key is our home base note. And that leads us to key signature. A key signature determines how many sharps and flats are in a scale, and our sharps and flats are our accidentals. Accidentals are raised, a sharp, or lowered, a flat. Um, those are raised and lowered notes. And lastly, we have our half and whole steps. Remember, half steps are from one note to the next, and whole steps are from our starting note to one to a second note. So that's two notes, and this moves by one note. Remember, our half and whole steps can tell us in a major key where the accidentals lie. So, in our next video, we will be going more over our sharps and flats and what they mean in key signatures. Um, I hope this helps get us started a little bit. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a comment, ask me a question. I hope you guys join me again for another Bell Basics with Miss Aurora. Thank you.
my family. Communications to you. We all have the same responsibility. There ain't nothing better. We'll play together. 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 We'll play